Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, let us discuss one more real world example of collect method. Well, we'll basically see how to group the products by category. Well, a common use case of collect method is to group data by certain attributes. So let us group products by their category using collectors.groupby method. Okay. So in order to demonstrate that, let's create a new class. So go to collect package, right click on it, new and then choose Java class. Let us give class name as grouping products example. Next, within this class, let's create a main method. Well, we are going to group the products. So here just create a product class. So just type class and then product within a product class. Let us define the instance variables private string name and then private string category to keep it simple let us have these two fields in a product class next let's create a constructor right click generate constructor and select these fields click on ok next let us also create a getter setter methods right click generate getter and setter choose these two fields click on ok perfect now we have a product class Next, let's go to the main method. Within the main method, let's create a list of products. So here's just type list and then pass product as a type. And let's give reference variable name as products. Next, let us use arrays dot as a list method to create a list. And here let us pass uh, products to the list. So here new product and then pass product name as laptop. And let's give product category as electronics similarly let's add few more products so here new product and then product name let's give shirt product category clothing next new product let's give product name as phone and product category electronics next new product and then product name let's give jeans and then product category clothing perfect now we have a list of products next let us create a stream from this list so here just type products it has a stream method so we use stream method to create a stream from this list next let us take the result of this stream method into a local variable of type stream stream as a generic just pass product as a type and let's give variable name as stream okay now we created a stream from this list next we can call the stream related methods by using this stream object so here just call stream object it has a collect method so here basically we are going to group the products by category right for that call the collect method next let us pass the collectors utility class this collectors utility class has a grouping by method and notice here this group by method takes two parameters and returns a map okay so this grouping by method pretty useful to group the elements in a stream based on the criteria this group by method works like a group by clause in a sql statement that allows you to classify the elements of a stream into groups and collect the result in a map okay just call this group by method over here and here just pass the name that is product dot get category so here basically we are using method reference to just call the get category method of this product okay that's it next this group by method returns a map so let us take the result of this group by method into a local variable of type map and here just pass string as a key type list as a value type list as a generic let us pass product as a type and here let us give the variable name is map well notice the map structure over here so here we group the products by category right so here map basically contains key value so this key basically contains a category and value basically contains products so one category can have multiple products isn't it that's why 
you can see the map structure. This group by method basically group the products by category and it returns a map. The map contains key as a category and value as a products. So one category can have many products. Okay. Next, let us put the system dot print in a statement and just print the map. Next, let us run the program over here. And you can see the output. Clothing is a category and followed by the products. There are two products. If you can notice the list. So clothing category has a two products shirt and jeans that is what you can see so in order to print this properly let us create a two string method in a product class so go to the product class go at the end and here right click generate and then two string select these fields click on ok perfect next let us rerun the program and now you can able to see here clothing is a category so this category has a two products shirt and jeans next electronics category it has a two products laptop and phone so this is how we can use collect method along with collectors dot grouping by method to group the products by category all right great i will see you in the next lecture